In this session, we will discuss push-pull DC to DC converter. In uh, other DC to DC converters, we studied like uh, buck converter, boost converter, buck boost converter. There, one half of the cycle of the input is used. Because the, in, in the next half cycle, the energy stored in uh, inductor is used in the next half cycle. But in a push-pull DC converter, the idea is a little bit improved, where uh, two transistors are used instead of a single transistor in the case of buck boost and buck boost. Two transistors. It will uh, uh, operate in push-pull. One will be on, then other will be off. So, at a time, either of the transistors will be on. Thus, uh, in the both half cycle of the input, uh, the power can be delivered from the input to the output. This is the idea. So here the objective of this lab experiment is to set up a push-pull DC to DC converter to obtain an output of 6 volt at 10 watt from a 12 volt input, 12 volt input to DC. So we get uh, DC at the input and DC at the output, so DC to DC converter. This chopper, how it works, this is what I explained. Now we shall see the circuit diagram for the push-pull DC to DC converter. Here, this circuit which uses 3525 IC is for driving the gates of switches Q1 and Q2. So, this is a gate drive circuit. Now, after that, what comes is a converter. Then, that converter which converts from DC to AC uh, and it again uh, rectifies. So, it is a rectifier and the filter comes. So, DC to AC converter, then again uh, that uh, AC to DC converter and the filters. Uh, these are the three stages coming over there. Here, the design of uh, this part is as before. We use a 10 K uh, potentiometer, a wire wound. So that this 5.1 volt generated by the IC at pin number 16 is used to vary the uh, duty cycle available at the pin numbers uh, 11 and 14. So this voltage available at this 2 is from 0 to 5.1. And now these three is designed as per the equation for the frequency of this uh, oscillator inside this IC. That equation we know it is 1 by uh, F is equal to 1 by uh, 0.7 uh, RT plus 3 RD outside the bracket it is CT and we will assume certain value for RD. RD is uh, permitted to have from uh, a few ohms to 500 ohms. So, so we select 100 ohms and uh, CT can be varied from 0 0.001 to 0 0.2 microfarad. So, we select to some values here. So, from these two we can uh, uh, get RT from the equation. So, after that, the values R1 and R2, the current limit to resistors connected at the gate of the MOSFETs. We select a minimum nominal value of 100 ohms. Now, the transformer. We have selected active device, active switching elements, MOSFETs IR 540, because suitable for this uh, output to generate uh, 6 volt from uh, input to 12 volt. That uh, transformer, that uh, tense ratio, uh, should be taken more than VO by VI, more than VO by VI. The number of turns in the input and number of turns at the output, uh, in this case we know that ratio is 2 because uh, input is uh, 12 and output we get is 2. So the ratio should be uh, uh, 1, what we do is upper second, second half of the upper secondary, lower half of uh, secondary, 1, 1. And uh, other side, we instead of taking it to 2, we take it to 3. So, the secondary, that ratio is, uh, uh, the ratio, input to output ratio is 12 by 6. So, we took 1, 1, 3. Instead of 2, we take it 1, 1, 3. Up here it is 1, here it is 1, here it is 3. In order to compensate in case of any losses happening in the rectifier side. Then, we select the diodes, uh, ultra fast recovery diodes 4007, UF 4007, uh, because we operate in a higher frequency, 
because we are going to select a little higher frequency here so the dial should function in high frequency and uh, the output uh, the part the l inductor and the capacitors uh, the equation as per the equations for the minimum values for l and c we will design l and c accordingly here uh, the wire supply we selected 12 volt because maximum permitted is 35 uh, input voltage uh, no, from 8 volt to 35 so we select uh, 12 volt and uh, this is what is given input is 12 volt and uh, vo is 12 volt so in that uh, circuit as you to see uh, when q1 is turned on the input v1 uh, immediately appears across the upper half of the secondary with the negative on top and uh, positive in the, in the midpoint of the transformer and when q2 is turns on q1 will be turned off because accordingly the input comes from uh, pin number and 14 are complementary so q2 will be either of the trans will be on as we know as we know now the uh, when q2 turns on what the 12 volt will be available across the lower half of the secondary so that will give you a little more than uh, 6 volt at the secondary and uh, uh, that is getting rectified so this is the idea due to ratio is vo by 2 and vi is select as uh, 0.33 if that is there uh, then we can get uh, the minimum values for l minimum and uh, c minimum that is the values for coil and capacitance we have equations here uh, so for that uh, we need certain values for uh, i0 etc so i0 is the output current we obtain from the ratio of p0 to v0 it is 1.67 and uh, load resistance is from V square by P, we get 3.6 volt, but uh, it's 3.6 ohms. So this uh, power rating of the diode is I square R. I square R gives about 10 watt. For a security, we can keep a 15 watt or 20 watt resistor. So we select a 10 ohms, 20 watt resistor at the uh, output as a load. And uh, we take the uh, ripple of the current, 30% uh, of the output current. Actually, that uh, it looks as if this uh, ripple factor has been estimated to be a little higher because practically that happens. That's why you select a higher value for uh, uh, ripple uh, current in the inductor. So that is 33 percent. It uh, comes about 0.55 ampere. Now putting in this equation for the minimum value of the inductors, we get 0.239. You take uh, one micro, uh, one milli, milli Henry. Uh, accommodating some losses which may incur and uh, minimum value for the capacitors we have the equation uh, accordingly we assume a ripple of 0.1 volt putting in there we will get a, a capacitor value of 220 microfarad and the current limit resistors we take a nominal value of 100 ohms to connect at the gates of MOSFET uh, the rectifier side this is what we selected this transformer secondary is 3 while the upper half and lower half respectively 1 is to 1 and uh, diodes as I said earlier it is ultra fast rectifier diodes are used and uh, a gateway circuit as before using this equation putting RD about 100 ohms and uh, uh, CT 0.1 microfarad we get value for RT RT as 9.1 kilo ohms so we select a 10 kilo ohm uh, resistance as RT. Now uh, set up this circuit and uh, observe directly the working of this circuit by seeing the output uh, voltage is uh, 6 volt while uh, the power delivered is uh, 10 watt approximately. So that we can calculate from the current measurement and the voltage available, uh, obtained at the output. Uh, that is the procedure. That is the end of the circuit. Much details we shall discuss in next session.